Need for Speed March update. Holy crap, it's happening. So, uh, wow. Here it is. We finally got some content, guys. Comes on March 3rd, which is Tuesday. So, what, one, two, three, four days? Four days from now. Yes. So, here we go. This one's called Black Market Delivery. All right. Here's a picture of the BM. So it says, meet Raziel, underground car dealer, who's in the business for both money and the thrills. In this update, he will import two cars. A spanking new one is available via, via real money purchase, while a variant of an existing car is available for free. So I'm assuming the variant of an existing car is like one of the KS leaks. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And a, 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 a new car. So we've made videos, God, how long ago? On the S14, the RX8, the 300GX. Guys, I literally woke up to let the dogs out and I was like, I saw the notification like, oh, I'm gonna have to go make a video. Bear with me, I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we'll probably get one of those three cars most likely because those are the ones that were rumored. It'll probably be the S14. I will bet no money on it, but I will bet that it'll be the S14 because I'm broke. <laughs> All right, so here it goes. It says, to get behind the wheel of the imports, simply head down to Port Murphy and pick them up from a shipping container. I guess like all those cutscenes, like they were shipping them out. Now they're shipping them back to us and we get to use them. Uh, this opens a small narrative tied to the car where Raziel will ask you a few favors. Wink, wink. As well as rewarding you in return. Complete the challenges to get visual customization parts for your new ride. Character outfits and effects fitting the car's theme. Such as underglows. I mean the car's theme. Like the car's theme that you give it or like they're going to have some like underground highway outlaw themes i don't know whatever throughout your journey you'll also discover some new events that you can replay once you've completed them during the black market challenge okay so new events that we can replay so maybe there's gonna be like a new style of event um like point a to point b running from the cops in the daytime or like something i don't know i don't know sounds cool man all right, note that the cars obtained via the black market delivery will require you to get to a certain rep level before you can pick them up. The free car becomes available at rep level 20. Wow, good thing we're all level 50. While the paid car can be picked up at rep level 30. Holy. They, they should have just made it 50, rep level 50 at this point. Like, everybody's 50. With this, we aim to find a sweet spot so your progression early in the game is meaningful, while also getting access to the car before you reach the end game. I get it. So, Raziel seems like a new character. Definitely, because, I mean, it's been months since we've played with the sword, but I don't remember a Raziel. He lives in a shipping container in Port Murphy. GG, he's living a good life. All right, quality of life improvements. So that's it on, like... What we're actually getting but it seems like we're getting um new events and cars and a little bit of story for now which i guess is better than nothing you know it's no pvp or you know but whatever like i'll take it i was giving up on this game i, I was and you know everything going down but i guess with Criterion taken over and everything like things had to get sorted and you know ghost obviously was working on this because it's not something Criterion would take over in a week and a half Okay, so it says quality of life improvements aside from cars There's also a bunch of bug fixes and quality of life changes based on your feedback coming with the March update. So here we go Tell you tired when you're receiving a new part in the garage it's now easier to spot. We removed the feed that showed your new items on the right side of the screen. Instead, there's a new now a yellow banner saying new next to the category and the item. Okay. I guess we'll see if I like that or not. 
We added more variation to race intros during both day and night races, as well as more victory celebration animations to enjoy when crossing the finish line. Is this gonna be like the freaking flaming barrels and tires and it's just gonna crash games and then they're just gonna take it away? And then they might reintroduce it again later. Like, is that what's gonna happen here? I hope not. But I mean, I guess that could be cool. Additional vanity items are introduced. You'll be able to customize the color of the backfire. I mean, I guess that's all right. And I get it, cause like you can change the color of your nitrous and stuff. But like, when a car backfires, it's just the color of flames, cause that's what it is. Like, I don't. I don't want my car to shoot purple backfire flames. Like, I, I don't know. That doesn't appeal to me. Anyway, um, yeah, so, and through the black market, you can also unlock beat sync underglows that will sync up with the in-game music. Um, nobody listens to that crap soundtrack. My, my underglows will literally never flash because I have the music turned off. Yeah, my underglows will never go off because, and I'm sure nobody else's will, because freaking <sighs> nobody likes the soundtrack. You turn it off and play your own. All right, what else we got here? You will now be able to adjust the camera shake and the settings. Ah, cool. I'm hoping we can just get rid of it all together. I'll probably turn mine down a bit, especially off-road, but it doesn't seem like we're going to do off-road races unless, like, I, yeah, I, we don't know. We don't know how many or what kind of races we're getting. But we're getting something. And it's about damn time. And then it says, and more, dot, dot, dot. So the quality of life improvement. So hopefully they implement a fix for the freaking Xbox players who still can't get past the touch screen. And it's been, what, a freaking month or more? I, it's just ridiculous. Like, I get that... You know, everything that's been happening and Ghost being getting the axe and Criterion, Criterion coming in, you know, like it happens. All right, so then it says, as usual, we'll release complete update notes just before the update arrives, including an extensive list of changes. We'll see you on the streets of Palm City. Asterisk, star, or whatever you want to call it, all caps. Everybody has a friend that types in all caps, right? And you tell them stop and they keep doing it. Requires need, requires need for speed heat on applicable platform. Sold separately. All game updates, internet connection, and EA account to play. There you go. So, I'm kind of looking forward to full patch notes so we can like get an idea of exactly what's going on. This is pretty cool, man. We got something, boys. Man. So they're adding like this character who's illegally importing us cars and we do missions to get them. I'm cool with that. I'm pretty cool with that. Hopefully there's some daytime stuff and some nighttime stuff. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. We wait. We wait now. We wait till Monday to get the patch notes. Make another video and then we play it on Tuesday. Man, some fresh need for speed heat. Content? What? Is this real? I mean, it's been what? Uh, this will, yeah, this will be what? Four months in, technically? March, yeah. I mean, I guess. Whatever. I'm not mad. I know a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers gave up on this game. Maybe this will breathe a little life back into it. You know, you know Criterion's taking over, they'll fix the bug fixes, start rolling out some, they clearly have more plan. Like they set up a new character and like ways to get new cars. Like there's clearly gonna be more. Um, so yeah, maybe uh, maybe it's it's finally happening and we'll, we'll get a little bit of a living game for a while. And yeah, we'll all have a good time. Anyway guys, yeah, let me know what you think. We're getting close to a thousand subs, please our first goal let's do it man what 180 videos so far you believe that crap five months 180 this is just insane this is crazy but anyway uh yeah i guess uh go watch my tokyo Adventure 3 videos in the meantime 
and we'll have some Need for Speed patch notes on Monday and some new gameplay on Tuesday. And uh, yeah, guys, I will see you on the next one.